Hawk, Hawkman, super cool model, probably my favorite model in the set. Um, He's got, you know, honestly, those are probably the nicest wings I think we've seen out of a model in a long time. Yeah. Um, it, you know, just These are really super solid nice. looking. Um, I mean, the sculpt is really cool, just flying in there. He's got uh, the cool weaponry. <laughs> The he's got green claw. He's got the, uh, the the like the flying plastic swoosh that we see a lot, but yeah, uh, you know. But I mean, it's effective and it makes sense. Yeah, I mean, it lets mm -hmm. us know that he flies. One of the downsides of this set, it's an awesome set, and I'm running out of room in my tackle box to fit more models, and all these models are huge. Yeah. So I don't know how, how I'm going to fit them in my tackle box. It's going to be tough, but I'm, I'll fight and make it work. Um, has a really cool power dive bomb. He can use charge, and he uses charge. If, if you're on a lower elevation than the elevation that he started on, he started his movement on, it's plus one attack and plus one damage, allowing a 95 point indomitable piece to go up to 11 attack for four damage. Yep. That's huge, yep. that's really cool. I'm thinking myself, the Bizarro world map, where there's four oh, different yeah, elevations, yeah. it's a confusing map, so you can even almost trick your opponent into yeah, give, yeah. Let, lining that shot up if you're positioning well and willing to take the time and treat it like a chess match. You can you can set that attack up very easily. And this is sort of the second model in this set that we talked about that really takes advantage of different types of terrain because it's something that you know we see a little bit of here and there, you know, like hindering and blocking. But it's mostly just like with hindering. But yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, really, really do like to see more of the stuff with elevation. So you know, things like the uh, the Spider Man that we saw a couple sets ago. Um, this stuff, like it, it, you know, it's really solid stuff. It was, it's very done very well. Another point: opening seventeen defense with energy shield deflection. Yeah. So you can take that time to line up the shot and have a really nice defense. Yeah. Um, Sorry to crack that. Yeah. And then as he pushes, again, another pushable model. Mm -hmm. When he pushes, you know, you get that charge in. He gets eleven attack, three damage, uh, ex close combat expert and 17 defense combat reflexes. So he switches gears immediately, which is nice. Yeah. He charges in, he hits, and if, you, if they got a high attack after they take the damage, choose to take that pushing damage, get a 19 defense in melee, and then start giving them a weapon. And well, that that's, that's, that's one of the things we talked about before, is that what makes a really good model, um, especially if you're looking at primary or secondary attackers, is can you push them? And for this guy, it's a yes. It's a yes. Um, Near the end of his click, he does fall off a cliff. There's a few clicks where he cannot break the invulnerable, but gains flurry. So if he, if you, you get a couple shots out. If you've got that alpha strike, knock them off, and they're on toughness or super senses or anything like yeah. that. Yeah. Now you can start taking them down double attacks. Mm -hmm. um, and he and he stays consistent. He pretty much always has an eleven or ten attack. Only a couple clicks a nine, and on like a seven seven clicks, he's got a he's got a pretty deep dial too. Um, eight clicks. Yeah. So that's pretty huge. I mean, I would, on a model that's less than 100 points, I'm expecting Six. on their last click, like 8 attack, 14 defense regen or something like yeah. that. It's, I don't expect much, but you know, he's giving you more than what he's worth, which is oh, nice. Yeah, now we're getting into more of the villains, I guess. Dead Men. A very neat piece, very difficult to store, huge glob of plastic smoke yeah. that he's coming out of. Uh, Dead Man never does damage. Zero damage the whole time. Um, he's only 52 points. He has like good attack values, 10, 11, or 11, 10, 10, 9, 9. Last two clicks are regen and outwit. And he has full dial, well, the first three clicks are super senses. And then the whole dial, he has mind control. So he is just a mind control piece who you can take, it's okay to take the damage with him because he does get out of those regen yeah. clicks. He's he's really good, he's a really good harasser. Yeah. Um, and he has the trait Ghost, which is actually a nega trait. Um, he can use phasing teleport, which is good, but he cannot be placed by telekinesis, um, carried, and damage dealt to dead men by close combat attacks is reduced to one. Now uh, it's actually, so it's about, it's half and half. I forgot yeah. about that part. So very tough to go up and punch, uh, but the mobility is a little bit lacking and I get why they did it. It's only 52 points. Oh yeah, yeah. He's one of those pieces like uh, Astral Doctor Strange 
where you know he's gonna he's gonna get in there and he's just gonna tie up some of your pieces yeah. and he's gonna one trick pony is gonna do that one thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But but you know that that could be the thing that separates a win from a loss when you know you get tied up by him and you have to try and break away. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean he has the added benefit of not automatically breaking away because that this was the problem with yeah. the actual strangers. Moving on, Zatanna. Um, mentioned the model, because it's probably my favorite part about this. She's kind of jumping out of this explosion, but they've done a nice job of dry brushing um, on the like smoke areas to really make it look like she's there's smoke there. They usually yeah. don't do that. And I really, really like this piece uh, for that. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I mean, for 90 points, you're getting a uh, character with the Justice League ability and uh, Mystics. Uh, always nice. Always nice. She is a 10 attack, penetrating piece, 6 range, 2 targets, and uh, Perplex, which is awesome. Yeah. Um, as she takes, immediately takes damage, again, another pushable model for a cheap piece, she gets the power Relic Dim. Dim. Gives a Tana a power action or a free action if she has no action tokens, and chooses another friendly character within four squares and line of fire. I love this power actually, I forgot about it. That character cannot be affected by a Litter Perplex until your next turn. That's huge. Really awesome. Good. Awesome power. Yeah. Also, changes to an energy explosion piece, so that's not as good as penetrating, but goes up to three damage mm -hmm. and gains probability control. Nice. And she flip flops back and forth actually. Um, for the for the first for the first half of her dial, it's the penetrating to the prob to the penetrating, um, which makes her a little bit inconsistent. But at, yeah. you know, at the same time, it gives you options. At you know, the same time, you push pressure, her and yeah. know what you're going to get if you memorize the dial. Yeah. Second half, two of the clicks are just bad, but uh, they have the regen and support. So mm -hmm. her attack's pretty bad. But I mean, hey, if the guys, if your if your main attacker has dropped in defense, you might as well hide. Hide them behind her, try to heal up. They have to shoot through her, maybe, hopefully, and then they take the Mystics damage. So, you know, if they don't kill her in one fell swoop. Um, yeah, no, good piece. Um, I think a little bit overcosted, so I'm not, but definitely gonna be worth trying out. Um, she is a mystical piece, so I know some a lot of the times mystical pieces tend to be very expensive. Yeah. So that's a nice cheap mystical piece, considering it is a generic theme. So that's gonna be good for theming as well. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Well, I'll have to we'll have to really play test her to see if she's really worth the points. I'm leaning on the side of no right now, but we'll see how it goes. See how it goes. Next, we have Mind Warp. Um, and I'm not crazy about him, but I, you know, he's basically roulette. Yeah. Um, yeah. He's 45 points. Has a little bit more movement uh, with the phasing teleports. A little bit more mobile. He has the probability control, one damage, time slide. Which is his kind of nice thing he's got. Mind Warp can use Super Senses. Once per turn, when he has no action tokens, if he can draw a line of fire to both the target of an attack and the attacker, the target may use Super Senses if it's a friendly character. Oh, wow. If the target evades the attack by the use of Super Senses, place Mind Warp in a square adjacent to the target. My mistake. Uh, I completely forgot he had that power altogether. I actually think that's really cool. For 45 yeah. points, giving not only the ability to make your attacker re-roll, re -roll, but giving giving your you know user that's going up there and has yeah. to get in close, the ability to possibly dodge. So you can use Impervious and Super Senses. You can use them both. That's pretty cool. Uh, very, f yeah, you know what? Five clicks of life, four of them have they all have super senses and four of them have prob. I mean, he's fragile, but he's 45 points. Yeah, no, I mean, that's good. pretty solid for 45 I, points. I like that, actually. And he's only got one keyword, Justice League. So, theming's pretty, well, you want for Justice League. But, yeah, it's, uh, no, it's, it's, it's perfectly fine. Our next figure is probably one of the figures that I'm most excited for in this set. But, uh, yeah. Um, we got the Enchantress. Very cool. Let's start with her 50-point dial. Which is a little bit well, they're both phenomenal. Yeah. A little bit better than um, I think a little bit better than Scarlet Witch. I'll still use Scarlet Witch based on keywords and things like that. Yeah, yeah. They're both mystics. Um, she at 50 points uh, has the telekinesis yeah. and probability where the uh, or, uh, Scarlet, Scarlet Witch has 
penetrating with two damage, but she does three, so they still both break in vulnerable. Yeah. And they uh, the 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 way for fifty points doing three damage. Like, yeah, that's it's awesome. Uh, there's just no way around it. It's good. Um, she also has the telekinesis over Scarlet Witch. I think I was just saying I lost my train of thought. But Scarlet Witch has the probability perplex, yeah. which inherently very powerful. I just at the fifty point range put a little bit more value into telekinesis because yeah. of the armies that I tend to play. And getting the alpha strike is very yeah. important, especially when you have the, the probability control to back that up. You are, you know, more than likely going to yeah. get that hit. Yeah. It, it's the, the kind of two of, or it's like two or three of kind of the really important powers to get in a, yeah. in, a yeah. in an alpha strike. And then it, all you got to do is push her once, and you protect her com almost completely. Um, stealth. 10 attack penetrating with 2 damage prop. So, I mean, you have options there. You really got to invest in uh, taking her down on that when she gets yeah. there, so. As far as the Mystics go, she only has 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 clicks of life at that point, so you, she's definitely going to get one-shotted. That's just, you know, if your opponent's smart, smart, they're yeah. just going to play around her and only take one Mystics damage. But one is better than none, and they had to waste an action on a fifty-point model. Yeah, she's gonna for for that fifty points. She's gonna be in the back harassing, or not harassing, but supporting your good models well enough that if they're wasting that time to take her out, it's more than worth it for you. Well, also, you know, just to mention that she's an opening seventeen defense probability and super senses. You mm -hmm. good odds of dodging, really. Yeah. Um, she has eight range double targeting. Um, Let's go to the 250 point. She has 11 clicks of life for 250 points, yeah, uh, which is huge. She has a trait called Defeating the Justice League. Enchantress just modifies her attack and damage values by plus one when attacking a character with the Justice League keyword, which is cool. I'm sure it didn't really jack her points up at all. No. Um, you know, and it's thematic, which is what you're really, which is cool. With all the really great models in this set, I think we're, we're probably going to see more people playing some of the Justice League pieces, so that's nice. The really nice thing about this is at 50 points, if you notice her traits are all, all of her, well sorry, her keywords, all of her keywords are only active at 250 points, yeah. which is beautiful. Why would you ever give such a powerful support piece at the 50 points these keywords? It makes no sense uh, to not only be able to easily theme her with the Justice League, mm -hmm. but already make her powerful. So I'm getting theme rerolls and her own rerolls plus the TK. It's just, it's too much. I like that they left her nice and blank. Right. Well, and that's that's the direction that I would like to see them go in the future with uh, with other models. Mm -hmm. If you want to make really good, powerful support pieces like this, um, you know, just don't give them those keywords so that you can't even really get those extra probability mm -hmm. control. Now, at the beginning of her dial, at two hundred fifty points, she's a brick. Charge, impervious, and shape change. So you get both out of that. Mm -hmm. um, the eleven attack, storm of witch's teeth. She can use Poison and Quake when she uses either one. All characters the range of two squares and line of fire are considered adjacent, and damage dealt can't be reduced below one. So it's wow. basically penetrating Poison, yeah. and that's kind of a kick that I think Poison needs. Yeah. She's dangerous. She can shoot you from afar, she can run up, she's got great defenses, and if she does run up, if you don't take care of her, you're in trouble. And then you do try hitting her, and you do hit her, and you start taking Mystics damage, you got 11 clicks of rifle you gotta get through, it's just one after another, she's 250 points, you can fit a gauntlet with her. Mm -hmm. I don't see a problem with this model. As she takes damage, she changes up to a hypersonic piece with prob. Um, she gets a defensive power that lets her use invulnerability and willpower, she's not actually nominal on her own. Mm -hmm. And then she turns into a running shot penetrating piece, like, and then she gets actually regen mid dial to yeah. possibly bring her back up to that first click. Um, I mean, we gotta move on, but there's nothing wrong. Go on all day about how fantastic she is. I think she's the best piece in the set. I, you know what? I probably would agree with you. Nothing wrong with the model. I mean, definitely, I'm going to be a lot of pieces, uh, a lot of people using her, and she's definitely going to show up in tournament scene. I, yeah, I right. definitely do think that. 